Center. This time they sent on their way from the 1800 meter marker in Sky Castle, one of the first to go, the Blue Sleeves and Cab. Likeness is on the outside, Bulletier head up in the Air Force Strider too, so Sky Castle, let's see if she settles and Hunger Games is at the rail, time for a Tiger and Proverb. Cape Fester, the Red Sleeves and Cap, and then comes Lily's Rushes on the outside of Runners. They'll follow it further back in the field by September Storm and Asker Charm with Lady Amy. They go to the 1300 and Sky Castle is the leader, length and a quarter. Likeness is second and Bulleteers at the rail third. Proverb is fourth and then comes Likeness is on the outside. They'll follow it further back in the running by Hunger Games and then Lily's Rush time for a Tiger. That's racing about seven lengths off the leader. Aska Charm is on the outside. Lady Amy is further back in the running. Then comes Mystic Express and September Storm. As they move to the 1,000 meter area and Sky Castle continues to lead it. In second is Likeness. Bulleteer is third, then Proverb and Hunger Games. Then Ask a Charm, time for a Tiger. And there's Mystic Express. So the pace is far too slow. It's going around them. And Lady Amy's also making an early move around them. So September Storm. It's come very compact as they turn into the home stretch. And Likeness now. And Mystic Express has come right around them. Mystic Express now hit the front. Likeness on the inside. Sky Castle. Proverb on the outside. Lady Amy tries to run on them. Bulletier. And Mystic Express. At the 200, is there more in the tank? It's Mystic Express, Lady Amy, Bulletier down the inside. Mystic Express, Lady Amy, Proverb, it's getting close. Bulletier on the inside. Mystic Express made it home. Bulletier second, Lady Amy third, and Proverb ran fourth. Well, you've got to say, there would have been complaints or anything if the horse got beat. But I've got to say, what a ride here from Bernard Fader. He decided, he committed from second last. There was scrimmaging between him and September Storm about the 1,000 meter marker. And Bernard was have nothing about that. He let her go. She made up the ground, came around them, hit the front, and there's just enough in the tank. So Mystic Express wins it. Second will go to Bulletier. Third, Lady Amy. That fourth position will go to Proverb. Likeness, September Storm. Time for a Tiger, Cape Vesta. Further back in the running, Hunger Games. And then came Lily's Rush, Sky Castle and Ask a Charm. So this one is for Paul Peter, Bernard Fadeb, and they hit the front, went right around them, deciding the pace was far too slow, and committed. Is there enough in the tank? Yes, there is. Mystic Express, the Mamba in Seattle. Fourth win from 18 outings. Bernard drove this a half over. On the right is Lady Amy in the pink silks as Proverb, and Bulletier coming home towards the middle of your picture. But number two, Mystic Express, that shows up at 580 a win. That's all for the time being. Of course, Saturday is our Feast of Sprints at Scottsville. Craig Peters signing off. The two Mystic Express has just notched up her fourth career victory. Now you're really enjoying KwaZulu Natal. Most definitely, uh, and that was a superb ride by Bernard Faderb. Uh, his instructions were to be handy, and as it happened, he couldn't get there, and then he made his move on the bend. Well, well done to him, and to the owners, Kevin, Mark, and Jerome, George Nichas, and a very, very special one for Eric Lazaridis. It's his birthday, and Eric, I said I'll give you a birthday present today. Well done, and thanks for being so loyal and so staunch to my stable. Well picked this race. You obviously brought her down with a couple of races in mind. And if you look at her sand rating of 100, 50 points low on the poly year, there's going to be some nice success in the future. Well, we hope so. We didn't actually bring her down. We raided with her. Her merit rating was too low for her to stay here, so we raided with her. So let's just hope they give us enough points and she can stay here or she's back tomorrow in <laughs> Joburg. Well done. Well, a safe journey for it. Yeah, thanks. And uh, well done to all my staff. They work so hard. And, uh, and thank Gold Circle for all the help they've given me since I've been here. They've been very helpful and I uh, really appreciate it.
Well done to Paul Peter. Let's get the man of the moment, Bernard Fader, who's ridden an absolute pull of a race here. A couple of the guys were just sitting on the trigger ready to pull, and you allowed Mystic Express to go around. Yes, you know, I was in the, the fittest filly in the race, and I actually wanted to place her, and she didn't jump that smart. So instead of bustling her early, I just let her relax at the back for a while, and then um, I thought that the pace was a little bit too slow for me, so I made my move really early. I was confident I was on a horse that would see out the distance, and... As you said, she's got a merit rating of 100 on uh, the sand, so she's a decent filly, and she won a good race. You, know, you can't do that on too many horses, but the pace was slow, and I made my move early, and I'm just happy I pulled it off. Well done to everyone concerned, um, uh, Mr. Peters and all his owners, especially um, George Nikos, my friend. He phoned me earlier, and he says to me, um, uh, I'm going to give you a tip. You'll win the last race. I was like, well, thank you very much. But yeah, I just thank you very much. And uh, to my sponsors, Vasco, and uh, last but not the least, Justin from Market has my rides. I've been putting a lot of pressure on him when scratchings came out and he had me on these sources. So Justin, he's sure on the form they're not the best rides. And he said, Mr. Peters is confident. So I was like, okay, this is on your head. And uh, well done, you know, two rides for them, two winners. Just really appreciate the support. And like I said, thank you very much to Cold Circle. It's just nice to be here and uh, have some winners. Well done, Bernard. Thank you. Let's get the team into the equation there. If you want to come through, are you going to come through and have a chat? Nope. They're running off to collect the money with number two, Mystic Express. And we've got to say top, top ride there from Bernard Fader. And, of course, there's going to be a few hard luck stories, the likes of Bulleteer and one or two others. They were looking for some running room spinning for home. But while all that was happening, number two, Mystic Express, she was out and gone and bound for the winner's enclosure. That's a wrap. Of course, Saturday, Scottsville, all the big feature races, the grade one sprints. We'll see you then.